I am here to show you why a summer trip to Denmark might be a transforming experience simply by showing you how beautiful the nature is in this very harsh country when it's winter. Right now we are on the way to a very special little place that I know in Roskilde. Roskilde is in Denmark and it has this um, area where the Vikings used to live and it's really sweet because it's very close to the city but it's also very isolated. Let's see if we can find a little spot. So here we are. It doesn't look like much but the vibe is really really amazing. Check this out. This is the beginning. So now we've found the cows. I suggest that we go and have a look if we can uh, get a little closer. Can you see them? Right over there. Let's go and get them. So there's an electrical fence, but I'm sure we can find a way. Ah, we found a door. All right. Now we're just going to find the cars here. It's really, really beautiful. So in the old days, the Vikings would uh, live here and they would have their houses and they would go fish in, this, um, in these waters. This is a good illustration of why Denmark is very unique in the summer. It's just really calm vibe and beautiful water and the nature is like friendly and kind. It's very different than many other places on the earth but here nothing will kill you and very few things will sting you. Very unique. Ah, I think we're getting closer. I can't stop myself. I know I'm going for the cars, but this water is just like so calm and nice. I'm just gonna like have a little, oh my God. Oh, this is amazing. If you look up here, you can see the city of Roskilde over there. This is the main church. I hope you guys can hear the birds. They're amazing. Oh, there they go. We're getting closer now. So they kind of just accepted that I'm here. Just looking at me sometimes. But uh, I'm not sure if there's any bulls. But uh, let's find out. So here we are. This is one of the best reasons to be in Denmark. The nature and the cows and the freedom that you can feel. So I think these cows really represent the freedom that you have here in Denmark. One thing is the society, obviously, but also regarding going into nature and just being there because there's nothing dangerous. There's nothing that will harm you. And um, it's a very easy country to start trekking in. And uh, yeah, there's lots of good spots to sleep. There's, a, there's even an application so that you can find all these little huts and places where you can sleep overnight. So yeah, I really suggest that if you ever come to Denmark, that you sleep a few nights outside. Let's see if we can touch the cars. All right, they're not interested. Well, we should respect them. Give them a little bit of peace. Now they walked away from me. I think that's also very Danish. Maybe cars are really Danish. Uh, I think we got the bull. Not quite sure. Mm. It's not a bull. It is a bull. Just got boobies underneath. <laughs> 